I like that Otten overall is um, – we, we spoke about this. He's a well-rounded tight yeah. end in terms of some tight ends just excels the receiver. Some tight ends, like another tight end that the Bucks got in in this draft class with Coe Keith, is strictly just a blocking tight end. Right. But Kate Otten, you're going to get a mixture of both. Is he the best? No, he's not Trey McBride, but that's fine. The Bucks don't necessarily need that in the right. offense. So I like that sense of it with bringing in Kate Otten. Yeah, and Some, the, yeah, the, sorry, thing, the thing too, Matt, is is you look at Washington's quarterbacks, and I know this because I'm I'm friends with Jimmy Lake, the former Washington. He was on our show. Coach. Yeah, yeah we, it was on the show talking about about, uh, and we'll probably have him on talking about Kate Otten as well. But uh, listen, to be frank, Washington they had some terrible quarterback play. That that's part of the reason why Jimmy got fired yeah. was because you you know you have to have a quarterback at every level, whether it's the pros or college, whatever. And they just didn't have one. So this guy put up some pretty good numbers without a really good quarterback throwing him the football. And he goes from that situation to catching passes from the GOAT. Yeah. <laughs> a pro bowler at age 44 and a guy that probably should have won the NFL that, MVP yeah. award. Tom Brady kind of has a knack for making players around him better. Yeah. I'm just going to go on a limb and say that. Because <laughs> one of the things that concerned me a little bit is you look at his 2020 season, which they only played four games because of the Kobe season, I believe. Right. He had 258 yards. Next year, 2021, he played eight games. So double the amount of games. 250 yards. So we're talking about yeah. eight yards less in four more games. That's yeah. a little concerning there. That's but overall, bad quarterback play. Exactly. As you said, the, the bad yeah. quarterbacks. And you take out that 2021 year. I mean, he was he was averaging um 13 yards per reception, 10, 14. So we're talking about productive plays if you're getting double digits right. on, on making a reception. So I still think there's a little bit more that we could see from him as a receiver, and you're just naturally going to get that yeah. with Tom Brady. And, and he I think he's at the gonna... weight room too. You know, he's he's yeah, got to get course, bigger and course. better, but but he's a high effort guy that that is you know I I call him more of a positional blocker now because he doesn't have the size, the brute strength to just overwhelm sure. guys and move the line of scrimmage. But sometimes all you need is. It's just to get in somebody's way, right? He's, he has a willingness to do it too, which I does. think is very if important. Use good technique and just, just you know, turn your guy just a bit. You don't have to drive him into the ground uh, like Coquife will. <laughs> but <then laughs> we'll get to him in a second. Talk about glass eaters and the Legion of Doom. Oh, He's man, gonna be yeah. On there too. Yeah. yeah, but but uh, I, I I like the pick of Otten, and not just because we had him as a Bucks best bet. I, the reason why we did is because, like you said, Matt, he's versatile. He can do both, mm -hmm. and and that's really what the Buccaneers 